Choke no joke. Yeah. You know what Choke it is. Choke no joke. You know what it is. Let's go, let's go. 2020, rich niggas, money funny. Yeah. We got killer bees, and I lost my honey. My little sex master, yeah, she was a distraction. To my mathematics, then Corona happened. The government capping on what's really happening. Rock Nation signing niggas that's out here ratting. And Jay's the captain of the ship? Ain't this a bitch you keep his sign and snitch? We lost Andre and Rich, life's a bitch Can't have a funeral, no matter if you rich or poor Overpopulated at morgues Funeral homes, bodies all on the floor No food in stores, no me no more These the last days if you never prayed Have faith, all sort of illicit days Yo, it's tough when you see Puff rock a hoodie with his baby mama hanging from a cross, you lost. Damn, you told the CEO on the gram he was a handsome man. That's sexual harassment in front of millions of fans. You made fat one and scram like Sunday Leticia. Joseph don't leave, Mary and Jesus. Sags, self pleasing, some sneak thieves. If we were kids, you call them flat leavers. They use you, don't need you. It's birth you, they see ya. Cross you, then be ya, curve you and flee ya Niggas wanna be you, until they see you They idolize you, like you in the case Nigga, you know who got punched in the face In the A on stage, or any place A nigga like me, never retire like Mace And don't even care if the church is the escape Last real nigga alive, amongst your faith Y'all big bad, no frost in the my face can't come out, Epstein flight log is out uh -huh. And tell us, what that spirit cooking about? Head to head with a satanist and niggas and down homies The power of the dark side block me out That's why I'm blacking, get it in any sport trick Everyone That's up. why you the non-factor 6 9 keep acting, yeah. like you ain't acting yeah. You wasn't flagging, <laughs> in the court yapping That tough guy on the ground was just blabbing I'm the king of New York, at y'all niggas I'm laughing. Magic Closet, Choke No Joke. Magic Closet, it's the king of New York, Choke No Joke. We here now. You know what it is. Eat a wall, stand up. Yeah. Legal hustle, mega. You know what it is. It's choke, no joke about Kilman Heat. Left my boo with my dudes when I saw the heat. Was gone in 30 seconds, more like 23. Took flight like Mike, number 23. Before the indictment came, I split like jaded and get wet like Kane. Got out the game. Went from the tunnel, now movie making. So it ain't no confusing why you do me. Hey. Don't follow those cats. The niggas that be on the gram. Tell them what they doing. <laughs> choke, no choke. You know what it is. Yo, y'all niggas with a stay DL. Down low. Stop flossing, man. What you, you, what you just. You just want them to just come and get you. Learn from our mistakes, man. That's what this is about. Learn from mistakes. Choke, no joke, let's go, you already know, make a love, let's go. My aim was enlightened, drop jewels on you. You thinking I'm jealous, I ain't got cheddar like you. I'm the dude to a game, you got school. Was a local cat, snatch you when I made moves. Yeah. I'm paranoid and preaching, you, you was sleeping. Knew you was sneak deep and couldn't see us beefing. Learn from mistake, don't show I got cake and press a nigga to rob me. So busy flossing, ain't thinking about Jake. Loose, yapping, they wiretapping, videotaping, your ways in action. Front like Tom's hard, two door garage. Ice like Liberage, with no damn job. Without a reasonable doubt, you think you Jay Z with your platinum jewelry. He got a job, B. You shining 
on doctors with four degrees. Laugh because I'm broke, I'm broke on the streets. Stay DL, PDL and Sal. You ain't DL when your name ain't Bell. Stay DL, PDL and Sal. You ain't DL when your name ain't Bell. Stay DL, PDL and Sal. For beef, we not dolo. For cash, you go solo. Thought I was your man, shot me down like Manolo. Thought I was your partner when you played me was whack. No niggas dust that I wouldn't flip like that. What gives? See your man struggle while you live? That's some shit. Struggling, give you the kicks. Used to stick for gooses. Warm when we pump deuces. Break night in the jacks, trying to see millions like Bruce. You don't act like you used to. I'm the dude. When niggas was friends, you like no joke. I wet you like McLean for those who claim to be pain. The game of death, that's what you get when got game. Ill with automatics, we're never static. You carry that niggas, put one in your cabbage. Fear, don't have it, you fill me with laughter. In OG and C, then I'm original gun clapper. Like Dan Gadapa, see a mill be Casper. They trade the doctor, the math for math. Say DL, BDL is L. You ain't DL when your name ain't Bell. With your pockets, cop the ice locket. Yeah. She's somewhere in Houston, you blew like a rocket. Her seed was bait, through the line she caught it. Gave her all that loot, but she couldn't afford it. Praying to them bitches, y'all yeah. feeling hell. Blue puff in your face, daddy, all about Benjamin. Remember me, I'm your friend, say the end. Like Chucky, used to slay bitches like Buffy. Thinking why they cuff me, thinking the luxuries you had. And it's up with other willies you brag. I push the big bins with 20 year trims. When in the club, Chris for all my men. Sitting across the bar, what's up, star? Back to reality, you back in bars. You chose not to listen, had the age class glisten. Knew the rules of the game, you played yourself on position. Stay DL, be DL is L. You ain't DL when your name ain't Bell. Stay DL, be DL is L. You ain't DL when your name ain't Bell. Stay DL, be DL is L. You ain't DL when your name ain't Bell. Yo, Sean, yo, Sean, yo, Sean, hold that sign, it's me, yo, I see, you ain't notice me, yo, I see, all these diamonds and stuff, yo, how can this I fat not? diamond ring I got, yo, yo, what you talking about, yo, yo these diamonds, yo, yo, you know what I'm saying, yo, yo. I got 35,000 hours on me right oh, now, oh my god, nigga, I can show you the money right now, I can Look. show you the money, no, you ain't gonna show me nothing, man, my gun, yo, what, yo, oh my yo, god, yo, the gun, yo, yo. They said I'll be dead or in jail. They was half right, I saw a right could sell. I knew I wasn't rich when I couldn't make bail. I made out good, five niggas that didn't tell. Hold up, don't go to trial when caught up. Roll the dice, watch the numbers just go up. When you're off or what's short as a pup's nuts, you got the whammy, cause you pressed your luck. Uh, you could have been back on the town. Industry bound, no more busting it down. To court is half O's, having to catch the flow. And reassuring those who act like they don't know that the ratchet let go. If you think we won't, fill them hollow points up with mercury. Send them to another planet, leave them screaming like Mike and Janet. Niggas can't stand it. I felt champagne with Ross running the game When I was locked and the CEO jumped in my face Talking gangster, nigga huh? Like I'm not a fucking gangster, nigga huh? But you got it in here, cause the odds ain't fair Cause you got that walkie and that button right there But after eight hours, you leave here And that's when you friend, it's not fair You shoot at the range, we shoot when it rains Roll up in that range, your face look real strange The look on my face is I got that aim Before you reach, you feel the pain uh, Blood stain calculate to your brain You have been licked by that thing In the game of death, that's what you get when got game It's a method to the madness, how I bring the pain Of one that's not sane Choke, no joke, no joke.
Chiggy choke, no joke. Choke, no joke. Chiggy choke, no joke. You know what it is. Oh, baby. Stay DL2. I'm working on the Stay DL2. Working on that Stay DL2. Good evening, everybody. Come on in. Come on in. They coming in. Come on in. Come on in. Please hit that subscribe button. It don't cost you nothing. Hit that subscribe button because it don't cost you nothing. Show me the love. Show me the love. Choke no jokes to cash at. If you want to show love in that way. But uh, please hit the subscribe button. What's good? What's good? IG, yeah, in the building now. Stay DL two. Son was great when it came to the paper chase. That one bank couldn't even hold his papes. Always kept it original, never fake. Like Baby Nate, but King, like Pun sealed his fate. When he chatted with a dude about his case which later became a conspiracy case. Ain't seen nothing happen, son, just knew his case. The Lord's points in his fast, he got him slayed. So if you in a cell and you think a dude is true, talking about your case is something you don't do, especially when you talking about federal, because the only person you can trust is you or get conspiracy. Ooh. Come on in, come on in, come on in, y'all. Come on in. Conspiracy. You never knew it would happen. Conspiracy. You didn't do the trafficking. Conspiracy. You got caught up from writing. You didn't touch nothing. How could this happen? <laughs> no. I Conspiracy is one of the hardest charges to beat. That's why the American gangsters also defeat. When it comes to the alphabet boys, F-E-D, they think they safe because they never touch the streets with the rocks or the heat. Never pitch the crumb, flip like a triathlete. But yet I repeat, never blaze the heat, cross be dead meat. And never meet the maker of the creator that sent you to the creator since <laughs> split pies like equator no faker when they come to achieving this paper can't hate on something not in your presence quick lesson to y'all quick lesson to y'all 
that get my message and take it for the blessings that they are. Never flourish your riches to be a star. That get the bub lit, get you locked behind bars. Like those who did it before you, yeah, they did it. Yeah, they touched the sky. Admitted to the lieutenant that he was the guy, not knowing that the FBI was pressuring the guy with that good cop, bad cop lies and tell him about how much time he resigned. So he agreed to be wide and sold out the OG and got him hit with conspiracy. They say they don't have no evidence, but it's the truth. Don't think if you don't touch it, it won't touch you. Conspiracy, you never knew it would happen. Conspiracy, you didn't do the trafficking. Conspiracy, they got you locked up. They got you locked up for something they said you do, but don't have evidence on you. <laughs> Stay DL2. So I woke up thinking it was a dream. Fuck. I don't even know how to charge this stuff. I don't know that duck. Three days from what? Transporting in the feds in the on the bus in Kentucky. I did everything right. Studied the game like Mike. Got championships for filling pipes with that white. Variously getting them high like Mike. Jumping from the foul line. I did it better than those in my time who chose to shine as they inclined. That wasn't the character of rhythm. That wasn't the character. That wasn't the characteristic of mine. I did it like. Cal Klein, A. Richard Pope, Kev Childs. I did it like Cal Klein, A. Richard Pope, Kev Childs. Only difference is nobody know that I was the cash flow behind the hustler's glow. They didn't care who knew as long as I know that like Jay, I didn't shine, illuminate the whole show. I'm bummy like AZ with the baddest hoes. You further out like Frank, they on you like doo on stink. I'm steady hitting the ball out the park like Hank. I'm stacking banks like Morgan Chase. Never think that a convo be a conspiracy case. Conspiracy. You never knew it would happen. Conspiracy. <laughs> you didn't do the trafficking. Conspiracy. They got you locked up for something they said you do, but don't have evidence on you. Real street niggas understand what I just said. Some of y'all niggas like, what is he talking about? Conspiracy, that's why you hear people say conspiracy is the hardest charge to beat. Conspiracy, you never knew it would happen. Conspiracy, you didn't do the trafficking. Just because you the, you the boss and you send niggas out, you ain't got to touch nothing. You can just tell this dude to go do that. You can tell this person to do that. You can tell this person to kill that person. You can tell this person to sell person. You ain't got to touch nothing. But with conspiracy, your ass can still go to jail. That's why I say conspiracy. You never knew it would happen. Conspiracy. You didn't do the clapping. You didn't do the trafficking. Conspiracy. They got you locked up for they got you locked up for something they said you do, but don't have evidence on you. These niggas don't spit like me. Y'all niggas is crazy. My bars is is for the is the street bible. Goddamn it! My bars is the street bible. Only real ones can relate. Or niggas that know the law. <laughs> That's why I said something was great when it came to the paper chase. Now one bank could even hold his papes. He always kept it original. Never fake like bathing apes. I'm just some fake ass night air ones. He kept original, never fake like bathing ape. A king like Pun sealed his fate. Pun was a king and he kept eating until he, he killed himself. He said he sealed his fate. A king like Pun sealed his fate. When he chatted with a dude about his case, which later turned into a conspiracy case. All son ain't seen nothing happen 
just knew his case. Do you understand that? He told the dude about his case. This dude never seen nothing. No, no, nothing. Just go from what the dude told him. He's told the dude about his case, which later it turned into a conspiracy case. Now, if son ain't seen nothing happen, he just knew his case. So to lower his points in the Fed, he got him slayed. So when you in the cell and you think a dude is true, don't talk about your case. That's something that you don't do. Especially when you're talking about federal rule. Only person that you trust is you. Yourself. Okay, conspiracy. You dig? It's a little street knowledge for my, for my real ones. Those who ain't entertained by it ain't for you. It's jewels, okay? I stay DL part two. It's called Conspiracy. Off that new album dropping this summer, all right? Y'all can say who's top five and all that other shit. Ain't none of them niggas top five niggas even been in jail. Talk all that street shit. <laughs> but uh, y'all already know what everybody talking about. The infamous Oscar slap. And before we get into the infamous Oscar slap, as, as much as a lot, a lot of people who got humor out of it or thought it was funny, I didn't find it funny once I found out that it was real. In the beginning, I thought that, you know, oh, this is some stage shit like, Eminem having nuts in his mouth at, at the MTV Awards when they had to do a flyer and he, he dropped down on Eminem and, and, and put his nuts in Eminem's mouth. Um, and his ass is up, up Eminem's, his butthole in Eminem's nose. Like, when I see something like that, when you see stuff like that, you like, oh, man, I done seen nigga nuts in the nigga mouth before on MTV. So like this 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 slap is fake. But the professional in me that pays attention to detail knew that the hit was real because I'm listening. I can hear the from the mic. Like he you can hear if you if you if you know audio like me and you know visuals, you the angle is not gonna allow didn't allow you to see the, the impact. You know what I'm saying? Behind because how the cameraman was set up. But if you listening, you can listen for the impact on the microphones, the microphone that uh that's in front of uh the microphone that's on Chris Rock. Cause he he got a live on. Remember, he ain't had no mic in his hand walking around telling the jokes. He he was mic'd up. So when I heard the 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 impact of the hand touching the body in the on the mic, I said, Oh, he really hit that dude. He really hit him. He really hit him. And I think I thought that Chris, I thought it was staged because Chris Rock. Like he took a step forward and he leaned into it. He put his hands behind his back. But in hindsight now, it's like, nigga, I wish you would. And he really did. He, he did it. He gave an opportunity like, yeah, what? And he said, <laughs> yeah. And he, he, oh, Will Slip smacked me. It shot me. You did him. You put your face out. Do you stepped into it like, yeah, what? What you coming up here to do, King Richard? And he just... Now, 
Hey, let me hold on before I get into that because I that's going to take a minute. There's some other things that's going on right now. I don't know if y'all paying attention. Shout out to uh, my home girl, uh, Miss Pooh from Love and Hip Hop. This is why I can't go out. Because my, like, I don't know if any of y'all saw the video with me and uh, Miss Pooh and them hanging out. It's about 20 women. I was the only guy. It was all quarters, nothing less than a dial. I think y'all seen that video on my page. Let me see if it's somewhere close. Hold on, uh, IG. Don't go nowhere, IG. There we go. Real quick. Okay. I'm back, IG. I'm back, IG. Don't leave me, IG. I'm right here. Don't go nowhere. But um, yeah, so like I was saying, I was uh hanging out with my girl Miss Pooh. From Love Free Hip Hop. If y'all want to hit up on her Instagram, it's uh, I think the only Miss Pooh on IG. Uh, shout out to her, her daughters, and her whole crew. Uh, uh, Melissa. Uh, All the ladies, uh, Ashley, Okay. All right, I gotta do it like this.
how are they doing, man? Lord Clad man, they messing up me thing, man. Let's try this again. I know they're going to strike that music, so I ain't going to play the music, but there's me with the ladies, Pooh and the crew. We out here in these streets. We outside. We outside. We outside. We outside. Y'all yeah, see it. We outside. We outside, y'all. We outside, y'all. We outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We outside, y'all. So, reason I wanted to show y'all that was because uh hold on I think it's Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Miss Pooh and the crew. You know, nah, we do. You know how we do. Yeah, but the reason I played that, because, so they, you know, they got me out, right? We having a good time. And 
me always trying to protect the women. I'm gonna start minding my business and stop uh, looking out for y'all women because so many of y'all women are so shady. And not nobody in Miss Pool and Miss Pool Crew. I'm just I'm talking about other women. So shady out here. You know, don't, don't respect the gentleman, you know, being a gentleman trying to protect you and, and things of that nature. You know, but uh, shout out to Miss Pool and Crew. I love hanging out with them. Um, so we in the spot, and these two white boys come in the spot. They ain't the only white boys in the spot. So they saw, you know, yeah, the, the, the stage, they throw money, then they get lap dances. They drunk out their mind. Sean, what up? And stuff, right? So one of the girls is giving the dude a lap dance, right? And the white boy, the lap dance. And like he, he like sitting there, he like this. He got a hand against his hand. The girl's uh, sitting on him with her back facing his chest, giving him the lap dance and stuff. You know, she laid, she got her head laid back on him and she danced him. And I'm behind him, you know, we're pulling him and I'm just watching. I see the dude take his, his, his Heineken and go like this. And pour the beer on, on the girl chest. And she like, oh, 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 why watch your beer? Like she thinking he went to take a, a drink and accidentally spilled it. But I'm still I'm watching him intentionally do it. So now, me being observant, I could tell like sh Shorty, she young, she new to the strip club uh culture. Or whatever, because the veteran chick would slap fire out of him, right? So I could tell she's young and she's trying to explain to him and 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 and, and stuff like, oh, she's like, oh, you got me off, like, oh God. And I'm looking, I'm saying, like, baby girl, he did that in intentionally, right? So he he playing her stupid, right? So I'm I'm getting mad. Cause I'm watching him play her and I could tell that she's young and naive and she's new to this strip club culture and, and then ain't no security around watching them. Here go choke, not minding this goddamn business. Always trying to protect women. God damn. My ass get up. I leave pulling them. I go over there and, uh, and I, I shouldn't even did it because the, the owner was being, uh, I'm just going to say he, he was being difficult in the beginning. We cool now. But uh, she, just none of the security saw it. So my ass, get up and I go over there. And I go to the white boy and I go in his ear. I said, Nigga, I seen what you did. Give her all your fucking money now. That motherfucker turned around and looked at me like this. It turned whiter than the, the way he was. I said, give her all your money now. All the singles that he got to throw, he he looked at me. I looked at him like I, I ain't even repeat myself. I just looked at him as if I repeated myself. He said, <laughs> and the girl looked at me like what you doing I said take the money I see what he did I said he deliberately poured that beer on you I said take the money take it she looked at me she looked at him and he was holding all the money like this like to, to give it to her I looked at her I said take the money she said she it was so much money she ain't had nowhere to put it. She was just holding it like <laughs> I said, yo, don't you ever disrespect a black woman. I don't care if you nigga if you're in the strip club or in the alley. Don't you ever disrespect my sisters. Nigga, she ain't here working. 
And I'll say, if you want to dance with us some more, nigga, you better go back over to that ATM and, and, and get out of here. You done. And shit. And then I, as that happened, here come the owner walking by. I'm like, yo, I tell him what he what he did. I said, yo, this dude just poured his drink all on it like he Dame Dash in a music video and shit like that. She was a fantasy for him to do it. I said, I, and I made him give give get that girl all all the singles, all the money he had. Whatever it was more than the singles. Whatever money he had, he gave it up to her. He looked at me like, yo, you crazy. But he was like, yo, I respect it. <laughs> he gave me a pound. And stuff, and then he went over there to, t to talk to him. Yeah, I was like, I was like, like I'm sitting there watching him just pour the pour the beer on him. Man, I was up on that nigga so fast. Oh, I was up on him so fast. And, and he was with his boy. His boy was looking at me like, and I'm looking at him like, what? Nigga, give her all. Your money, give it to her, give it to her. Nigga, you gonna pay for a shower? You gonna pay for her, her, her goddamn uh, to wash her goddamn little uh, bikini outfit? No, nigga, you paying for that? Yo, she was looking at me like, "Thank you, sir." Like, what is your name? I was like. Superman. <laughs> she, was like, she was looking at me like, who was that Cape Crusader? Like, who was that mask? Man, I went right back over there with uh, Pooh. And I was like, yo, Pooh, this is what we about to do. And we turned up in there. So shout out to Miss Pooh and her crew. And they they don't they had no clue what happened. Only way they know if, if they watching right now. I never I didn't even tell her. I ain't want them to be like, yo, Cho, you can't be doing that. All right, let me move on from that. But um, shout out to uh, what's the name of that strip club? I think it's called Ace of Spades. Shout out to Ace of Spades. Dude, violated. Like, I swear he thought he was in the, in the goddamn rap video. Pouring the beer or pouring his whole beer on nigga. At least get some champagne. You gonna pour a beer? Come on, bro. His singles went real fast, like. He thought he was gonna have he thought he was gonna have a long night with all with that stack. No, nigga, no, 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 no. Not gonna be disrespected. I don't care if the girl's a stripper. To me, she's still a queen. All right. Never know what somebody got gotta go through to make a dollar. All right, so moving past that so I can get to Chris Rock. I don't know how I feel about this. No, I do know how I feel about this. I feel a way about this. And some of y'all gonna be like, yo, choke, you wrong, you bugging. Maybe not. But first of all, all I wanna say is rest in peace to Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gigi. Never am I disrespecting the dead with what I'm about to say. So let me put that disclaimer out there first. I'm not disrespecting Kobe Bryant, his legacy, or anything. I just want y'all to see what I see, all right? So Vanessa Bryant, don't be mad at me for what I'm about to say, all right? Any Kobe fan, do not be mad at me for what I'm about to say. Listen to what I'm about to say before you get in your feelings, and then you tell me, am I validating what I'm about to say? Now, I don't know if y'all familiar or not, but 
Nike just announced a new sneaker. And they doing a and and Vanessa did a deal with Nike for them to put out a GG Nike sneaker. Now, even another Kobe sneaker without him being here would look make uh, Nike look like opportunists to capitalize off his death. But it's Kobe, and he has a legacy, and I'm sure that even if Michael Jordan had passed on, they would still make Jordans. So that I'm not contesting. If it was a Kobe sneaker, I wouldn't be. It wouldn't even be in the conversation. But his daughter didn't even make it pro. And I personally feel like Nike is capitalizing off Kobe's daughter's death by giving her a shoe and putting her name on it and putting it out for a bunch of little girl sales. I just think it's wrong. The opportunity is great. The opportunity is great. I think it's, it, it's, it's fantastic. And it, it, it'll be legendary for Gigi to have her own Nike sneaker. But, and a big butt with like four T's. She didn't even go pro yet. She was a kid, dog. Like, yeah, this is, this is, y'all capitalizing off the young girls, who her father was. And off of death. Nike, I think this is wrong. And I hope people don't get mad at me. You know, but I personally believe that this is about a bag. Because she wouldn't have even been able to fathom that she would have her own shoe one day. Yeah, get it, but only get it because of who her father was and her passing away. Like, it's like, do you, you can't get upset with Vanessa Bryant because she's looking at legacy and what, you know, the bigger, you know, legacy she's thinking. But for me, I'm like, Gigi getting her, her own sneaker. You might as well go ahead and give Dwayne, Dwayne Wade, Dwayne Wade kid a sneaker. You might as well go ahead. I don't know. It's, it's just me. I think it's capitalism. Like they might, they can give North her own shoe. Like if y'all, if y'all just going to capitalize off of the person being famous, you know, y'all can give North her, her own shoe. That the, the 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 little Yeezy, the baby Yeezys, you know the North. I might have just gave Kanye a dope ass idea. Kanye, I want ten percent on that idea if you take it, since you want to uh, give uh, Beams credit. The baby Yeezys, the Norths, the Chicago's, the Saints. Oh Yeezy, oh the baby Yeezys. The Norths, the Saints, the Chicago's. Woo! Woo! Baby Yeezys. Oh, come on, Kanye. 
I need, I need, I need, I need ten percent creative. I need ten percent. I need ten percent. Oh, I need ten percent. Yeah. So I, like I said, no disrespect at all. You know, we all love Kobe. We all love his legacy. But I personally feel like Nike is trying to capitalize off of Gigi's death, giving her a shoe. I just, I just do. I'm sorry. And there's no disrespect to to uh, her basketball playing skills or anything like that. But I think that that is a money grab. I'm sorry. As y'all know, Trump is suing Hillary Clinton. You know, I got to just talk about the, 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 the uh, things that we didn't get to talk about over the weekend. Just so y'all know, let me just keep y'all abrupt before we just get to the slap. I know everybody want to talk about the slap. But I need y'all to think about some other things that's going on. Look at this. Donald Trump sues Hillary Clinton over 2016 Russian conclusion allegations. Uh, collusion allegations. Excuse me. <clears throat> In Washington, March 24th, Donald Trump on Thursday sued his rival in the 2016 U.S. presidential election candidate. In the pres 2016 U.S. presidential election, Hillary Clinton and several other Democrats alleging that they tried to rig the, that election by tying his campaign to Russia. The lawsuit covers a long list of grievances the Republican former president repeatedly aired during his four years in the White House after being cleared and comes as he continues to falsely claim that his 2020 election defeat by Democratic President Joe Biden was the result of a widespread fraud. Acting in concert, the defendants maliciously conspired to weave a false narrative that their Republican opponent, Donald Trump, was colluding with a hostile foreign sovereignty, the former president alleged in a 108-page lawsuit filed in federal court in Florida. The suit alleges racketeering and a conspiracy to commit injurious falsehood, among other claims. A Clinton representative did not respond to a request for comment. The suit seeks compensation, compensation, Look, the suit seeks compensations and punitive damages. Trump said he was forced to incur expensive and amount to determine at trial, were known to be in the excess of twenty-four million dollars, and continuing to accrue in the form of defense costs, legal fees, and related expenses so your boy trump got your girl hillary in court So imagine Trump running for president in two years and win, and then he got Hillary in court. It's about to get ugly politically. 
Okay. Now let's get to the feature presentation. The infamous slap. Now I need I needed to take uh do a poll here. If you think the slap was real, put a one in the chat. If you think the slap was real, put a one. If you think the slap was fake, put a zero. Damn, I ain't seen so many ones shoot across the screen. Wait, oh, I see a lot of zeros too. If you think it was real, put a one. If you think it was fake, put a zero. I see we got a couple of idiots that don't know how to, don't know their numbers. <laughs> Some of y'all need to go back to school, starting at kindergarten. All right, so the way it looks, it looks like more people think it, it was real than it was fake. Now. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Once I found out, or once I felt it was real, I lost a lot of respect for Will Smith. I'm sorry. And I gained a lot of respect for for Chris Rock for handling it the way that he did. Now, a lot of people are going to say Chris Rock went out like a bitch. And if it was dumb, they would have did this, that, 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 bit, boom, bat, boom, bat. Right. You never know what you would do when you're in that moment. Now, why I'm, uh, I'm upset with Will Smith about it is because, first of all, you're about to create a culture where comedians can no longer just be comedians. Like they got, it's already they they can't they already dealing with that with the gay community with the LGBTQ plus community. They done made it so sensitive that they got to be careful with the the gay jokes. Now, Will Smith, you making it to where it's sensitive to talk about a spouse. And it was just jokes. Like, the wife had a bald head. It wasn't about her condition. We understand she got a condition, you know. But she's an actress with a bald head. Was it funny? Yes, it was funny. If you saw G.I.J. because Demi Moore shaved the head bald. And she looked like Demi Moore. That's it. That was a joke. Now, if you're too young to understand G.I. Jane, let me put up an image so y'all can understand who G.I. Jane is, if you didn't get it.
See? Like, do y'all get it? Like, it's funny. She looked like he said, yo, Jada, we can't wait for G.I. Jane 2. Y'all telling me she don't look like Demi Moore? She don't look like Demi Moore? It like it wasn't that serious, dude. It really wasn't that serious. It was a great joke. She come in and she got a bald head, and we we know she got a condition, but it ain't the first time that Jada done cut her hair low. And it's a bunch of women running around, and that's the culture right now with women when uh short hairstyles. And she she could have wore a wig there if she wanted to. Like, it wasn't that serious. She do look like G.I. Jane. Y'all can't tell me if they if they did G.I. Jane too and, and, where, and they casted Jada. You want to say it was perfect casting? Yeah, we know she has alopecia. But I don't think that Chris Rock said it. And in terms of her disease, he said it because she's cute with a bald head. Because look at Demi Moore. She's, she looks beautiful like that. Look. You tell me if they if they wanted to do G.I. Jane too, Jada couldn't pull that off. So, and if you was watching, Will laughed at the joke. Now, come on, Will. You can't front, dude. You laughed at the joke, too. It was funny. You laughed at it, Will. You laughed at it. You laughed at it, Will. Will, you laughed at the joke, Will. See, now... What we did see was Jada laugh as well. And then she thought about it. And then she's like, oh, it ain't funny. Girl, you laugh too. You laugh too. But then it wasn't funny to you. And you put Will Smith under pressure to ruin his goddamn career. Because he ain't smack August Alcina. He ain't smack nobody when everybody had the August Alcina jokes. It wasn't disrespectful when everybody had the August Alcina jokes. I mean, everybody had August Alcina jokes. Why you ain't slap uh Lauren Cox on the on the on the uh red carpet when he's uh when Lauren Cox said uh uh we want more entanglements? Why you slap Lauren Cox? I think that was more disrespectful than G.I.J. Chris Rock next special is going to be legendary. Oh, he's going he gonna to have a nice segment for Will Smith ass. Oh, don't say your wife's name again? Okay. He's going to find everything to call her but her name. Let 
Montana Max, thanks for the donation. I appreciate it. Yeah, I did, like Will Smith. I was very disappointed in him because not only did he laugh, not only did she laugh, but Jada, it's your fault because you put pressure on Will. We know when that camera cut back to Chris Rock, you gave Will a look that made him feel less of a man if he didn't do nothing. Because it was no way he was getting up there and going up there. You put that man under a lot of pressure, uh, Jada. And your career ain't nothing like his career for him to be putting his career on the line like that for a goddamn comedian. Because if that was one of the white comedians up there, he would have ate that shit. And what's that white comedian that that, uh, that be hosting the Oscars? He's way more over the top than Chris Rock will ever be. What's this dude's name? Hold on. Ricky Javias. If that dude Ricky was up there, this dude has no chill. No chill, no filter. If he was, I wish you, I, I wish that was him. I would have loved to see you go up there and slap him. That would put Chris Rock was personal. That was personal. From when Chris Rock roasted Jada the last time when she told about she was boycotting the the, uh, the Oscars, and, and Chris Rock cut her up, told about uh, Jada boycotting the Oscars. That's like me boycotting Rihanna's panties. I wasn't invited. <laughs> I wasn't invited. Man, I'm so disappointed in Will Swift. Will Smith on so many levels, dude. One, you laughed at the joke, Will. Both of y'all. Two, they let a black man Produced the Oscars this year. Shout out Will Packer. And I think that's part, partially the reason why you felt so comfortable to do that. Because you knew everybody behind the scenes. It wasn't an all-white production. It was a black production that turned to a nigger production. The other thing that was even more embarrassing, besides him getting up there, going up there, insulting that man, and shout out to Chris Rock for being the real one and not pressing charges and snitching on this dude, even though it wouldn't have been snitching. Uh, but not pressing charges on this dude. Because that would have been embarrassing to see Will Smith walk out of there in handcuffs with his goddamn Oscar trophy on the back seat of the police car. Or and they hold his his Oscar trophy as evidence. <laughs> yeah, Will Smith uh Oscar uh trophy in the evidence locker with the coke. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> he, he gonna be dusting this goddamn Oscar, uh, his Oscar for fingerprints, and dusting Chris Rock face for. for Yeah, it's a match. It's a match. It's a match. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna take the trophy and dust it for fingerprints, put it in the evidence with the, in the Coke room. I mean, the evidence locker with the other, with the Coke and everything. Yeah, we need that trophy. You got to dust it for fingerprints. Yeah, he was holding it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we need the uh, uh, fingerprint uh, Chris Rock face. Yeah, come here. Lay your face here, Chris. This black ink is not going to hurt you none. Yeah, it's a match. Yeah, it's a match. Arrest Will Smith for slapping... Uh, Chris Rock, yes, it's a match. The fingerprints on the trophy match the fingerprints on his face. It's a match. Please arrest Will Smith right now, please. Yes. You are under the arrest. You have the right to remain silent, and everything you say will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be provided for you. Do you have anything to say? Jada! <laughs> Nigga, you going to jail. Yo, that, that would have been the greatest night ever if Chris Rocks would have pressed charges. Just stop the show right there. Psh. Is there any uh, LAPD in the house, please? Uh, could you please? I would like to press charges on this man right here sitting in the front row. You to see, oh my god, that would have been hilarious. But getting back to it, not only will did you embarrass yourself by letting your wife put you under pressure with a look in her face to make you go up there and assault this iconic, legendary comedian. That wasn't enough for you. That wasn't enough for you. Like, what happened to William? Like, you turned into Big Willie style. You was in there thinking you was getting jiggy with it. What happened to William? We like what you said, what Jay-Z said. No longer Big Willie style. I prefer you to call me William. Where was the grown ass man, William? You was in there acting like, yo, did you get lost in your character in King Richard and think you really was from Compton, California, instead of West Philly? Like, you really thought you was still King Richard, brother? So I'm going to protect my family. I got to protect Venus and Serena. Nigga, that was the movie. Hello? <laughs> Cut. Will Smith, what are you talking about? Uh, I can tell you, I got to protect my family. I got to protect... This is a rare. Like, brother, brother, the movie is over. It's over. Cut. You remember the rap party, Will? That's when you were supposed to leave King Richard at the rap party, nigga. What the hell are you doing? It's over. Next role, buddy. Get into I Am Legend 2. With you and uh, 
Steve Harvey fake daughter uh boyfriend, Michael B. Jordan. You're not King Richard no more. And then Chris Rock, you ain't make it no better. Call him King Richard when he walking up on you. You that nigga started. They, as soon as you say King Richard, and when he was walking up to you, goddamn motherfucking California love just started playing in that nigga mind. He thought he was Tupac. It was like, you was like, uh oh, they go King Richard, California love. That's all. That's all Will Smith heard in his head. Yeah, he was walking up to you like he thought he was pop. I was like, yo, the sneak, yo, hey man. He thought he was pop, baby. Jada, you put a car battery in his back. Not a D battery, a car battery. This man went up there and smacked him in his goddamn face. In front of the world on the biggest e award show ever. Oscars is bigger than the Grammys. And then, well, when you couldn't have made it worse. When you couldn't have made it worse. The West Philly really came out of you. William. William, what the hell was you doing, William? You turned into Willie. You want to yell out, keep my wife's effing name out your mouth. Chris Rock said, okay, brother, I got you. No, keep my effing wife's Fuck your name out your block, nigga. Where the pot of West Philly on God, nigga? On Pyro, nigga. Keep my right name out your mouth on Pyro. I said, Lapita was looking like, is this William? You saw Lapita face. You can tell, Lapita, she know a real gangster when she see one. She was looking at Will like, boy, bye. You ain't going to do nothing. I seen that nigga get stabbed in the face with a spear. You ain't doing nothing. I'm from Africa. That's weak, William. Lapita, Lapita, she ain't even, if that was a white woman, she'd have jumped out of her seat and, and ran under the table. Lapita was like, you're not saying nothing. You're not going to do nothing. William, I seen the boy get shoot in the face with the dot. He'd have done shot the man in the face with the dot from here. You know I do nothing. I'm not impressed, William. Lapita wasn't shook for a second, dog. She didn't budge. She didn't flinch. She didn't even blink. She just looked at him like, boy, you're posse. Bob McLeod, boy, may know about you. Rasta, man. I know that's Jamaican, not African, but I can't pull my African accent right now. <laughs> the Peter was sitting there like it's nothing. Word the mother. She was sitting there like she had an Uzi under her shirt. Like, yeah, all right, let it get popping. Y'all see me in Black Panther, goddammit. I'll kick some ass out here. I ain't worried about a set. I see you, little Peter. Lupita, you's a gangster, Lupita. We saw you, Lupita. You didn't budge, you didn't flip, you didn't, you down with Treyway. You didn't bend, you didn't fold, you didn't break. God damn it. 
That's Lupita Treyway. She don't bend, she don't fold, she don't break. <laughs> Lupita, she is a gangster. She ain't move. I'm telling you, that was a white person staying the door under their table, like, like, oh my God, a hostile man, black man. So Will yells out, kick my white gate out the empty mouth. Chris Rock said, okay. Nigga, it was a GI chain joke. The shit was genius. It was brilliant. Nigga, don't act like I ain't see you laugh, Will. And when Will yelled that out twice, excuse me, that's when I lost a lot of respect for Will Smith. I lost a lot of respect for him. The slap was one thing. He could have he left it at that. But, brother, you're not at the Source Awards. You wasn't at the NAACP, brother, Image Awards. Like, you wasn't at the Apollo. You was amongst those people. The ones that always try to make us look like the angry black man and black woman. The ones that always try to make us look like we don't know how to handle ourselves. And on your biggest night, the biggest night of your life, Out of all the movies you done did, even with Ali, we thought you you deserved that to get that Academy Award there. But the time you finally get it, brother, it was overshadowed by some shit that you were supposed to do between 18 and 25. That's why you was up there crying when you got your speech. You wasn't crying from excitement. You wasn't crying from humbleness. You wasn't crying in celebratory tears that you worked so hard on this role and you won. You was crying in embarrassment, Will Smith. Because the moment that you finally, that you've been waiting for, when you got up there and did it again, like you got the Grammy for the music, Getting an Oscar is the equivalent of getting the Grammy for the music. When you got up there, and the reason why you was crying, without me even knowing you, was embarrassment. Without me even being on the stage with you and know how everybody up there was looking at you like, still stuck in the moment, of you attacking that other black man. That's why you was crying, brother. Oh, I don't want to protect my family. Brother, you are not King Richard. Oh, now they're going to say I look like King Richard, the crazy man. Oh, now King Richard's crazy. Oh, so now you say King Richard is crazy. Okay. You was up there crying because your wife is more of a man than you are and she punked you into going over there and doing something. Let me tell you something, man. If you didn't know this, Will Smith, ego and pride will kill a man.
Ego and pride will kill a man. And I learned that from a, a Philly person. A North Philly person. So, Will Smith. We all know you're not a tough guy. And then damn sure don't make sense for you to be a tough guy at 50 years old. You violated and disrespected that man. And you don't even know if he fucking even wrote the joke. You know how it goes, Will. He's up there reading off a teleprompter. So you might have slapped the shit out of him for a goddamn shit that he read off a teleprompter. And the thing that makes me believe that is real is Chris Rock was so discombobulated that he couldn't even present the, the next award the right way. He like, nah. so we about to give away a documentary. Like he 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 was just thrown off. That's how I know that 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 shit was real. But not only did you go walk up there and assault that man, not only did you blurt out vulgar language and threaten that man you gave us a black eye brother you gave the black community a black eye overall it's going to go down as the greatest moment in history in television without question but remember brother you come from hip-hop It would have been one thing if you just was an actor. Brother, you come from hip-hop. You are a part of us. And they already stereotype us. And you never even had that type of image. But you just gave the black community and the hip-hop community one hell of a black eye, brother. You made us look bad. You made us look bad, Will. As funny as it is to everybody, in the moment it was funny. It's kind of like you see your kid fall and, and, and fall on the floor and you laugh, and then you go over to help them up, and then you realize they fucking broke their leg or they broke their arm. He tried to embarrass Will's wife about her hair, so Will embarrassed him for the World Fair Exchange. If that's how you feel about it. You think that if that was Eddie Murphy, he would have did that? His actions do not reflect all black people. Hey, when y'all say that, okay. You think it don't reflect all black people. Okay. Believe when people are watching this from other countries, other countries, excuse me. When people are watching this from other countries, and they don't know who's who, all they see is skin color. So everybody don't know who Will Smith is. Everybody don't know who Chris Rock is, but they will know two black men assaulted or got into an altercation at an award show. But 
I'm telling you, that that, that was personal with, with Chris Rock. Because Chris Rock cut uh, Jada before at the Oscars. And this is what I'm telling y'all. Being that she was so banned in the Oscars and telling everybody the boycott the Oscars that year. Now you ask to sit in there and your husband is nominated for fucking best actor. They knew you was coming. Jada, they knew you was coming. They was going to get your ass back for telling everybody not to come. Chris Rock ain't right that joke. He just read it off the teleprompter. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing from uh, Chris Rock and see what he got to say about this situation. I see Tyler Perry and Denzel go over there and talk to Will. I see Denzel go over there and talk to Jada. It was a lot that went on to, to, to let you know that I don't think it was fake. But we will be in embarrassed with the August style scene and shit. You know, all the jokes that he dealt with with that. He just took it out on Chris Rock. He took it out on Chris Rock. I think that Will... Will been through so much, and then he got slipped and lost in that character, King Richard, and thought he was a Compton nigga and went up there and slapped Chris Rock. But trust me, if you know the business like I know the business, that shit going to hurt him in the pocket so crazy. Chris Rock attorneys is talking to Will Smith attorneys right now on, okay, how much will want to give him, or do I got to go to court? Yeah, drop it off in the bag in cash, nigga. Yeah, two million cash. Or should I take you uh, to court and get fifty million and sue the Oscars and sue everybody for allowing you to walk up on me and smack me? What you want to do? Well, either way, it was a joke. It wasn't a disrespectful joke. Like, I, you know, and who was to say that Chris Rock knew that Jada had any type of illness with her hair or any type of disease or anything? Who's to say that he knew that? And... Keeping it a hundred. Will's entire family was sitting there listening to a guy on national TV make fun of their mother's health issue. No husband is going to sit there and do nothing. You say that he was making fun of her health issue. How do you know that he knew about her health issue? How do you know he knew that? How do you know it wasn't just a woman with a low haircut joke? Do you really believe that Chris Rock is that insensitive that, let's just say, you know, God forbid, she had cancer. And she lost all her hair from cancer. And he made that joke and nobody knew she had cancer. How many people watching 
or that was in that audience laughed at the joke. You think they all knew she had this disease and he was making fun of her disease? If that was the case, why did Will laugh? Why did she laugh? Why did the audience laugh if they all knew she had this disease? Because nobody knew that. It was a fucking joke. It was a bald head woman joke. That's it. Ain't nobody going, like if he, if she had cancer, you think he would have said that joke? Come on, man. Some of y'all just be fans of people and just want to defend them because you a goddamn fan. So everybody in the room that laughed, laughed at a person with a disease. Come on, man. Grow the fuck up. Please. Grow up. Listen, man. The the Oscars, if you didn't know it, is a roast. And if you're going to get a trophy that night, your ass is going to be roasted. If you up for a trophy, you're going to be roasted. The Oscars is like the fucking Comedy Central roast, if you didn't notice. Every host that come up there, all they do is crack jokes on people, all the famous people. They've been doing it every... It's a nine, but comedians host the goddamn Oscars. The Oscars is the same. It's the Comedy Central roast for talented people that in film. That's what the Oscars is. You going to get your fucking flowers because you going to get... If you win an Oscar, your career is out of here. That's it. You gone. And that's the cream of the crop. I'm a husband with a wife and family choke. Okay. So you tell me if you was in Walmart and a dude say, hey, your wife look like G.I. Jane. You going to slap him? I doubt it. I doubt it. Very much. I have alopecia. And you got to remember, we see Jada with hair all the time. Whether it be a wig or not, unless you sleeping with her or you and her family, how would you know that when you see her with hair all the time? If we pull up pictures of Jada Pinkett, Look at her in August. She got hair there. She got hair there. 
She got hair there. She got hair there. She got hair there. She got hair here. And these, these is like, these ball pitches is the latest ones. You go back, like she she's always had some type of hair. Even when she was young, she used to always have the short haircuts. When you look at her in, in uh, these movies, see, so if you don't know that she got a condition, you see her with hair. Several, look at this. Look at this picture right here. Like if you, unless you know, you don't know. Look at this. So how can anybody be goddamn offended if she come up in there with a bald head and he, and he crack a GI Jane joke? He might not know she got this condition because whenever you see it, it's times that she got long hair. It's times that she got short hair. So he, him, that wasn't that slap wasn't necessary. Look at this. Slap wasn't necessary. Ain't like she been like with this bald head all these years and everybody knew about this condition. That slap was not necessary. Ain't like she been running around with a bald head for hundreds of years. And everybody knew off top that she got this condition. Will was wrong, dog. It's only till recently she been running around with this boy head like this. It's not fair, man. It's not fair. It's not fair. Look at all this hair right here. Because if you go to, like, let's see. Jada Pinkett. Uh, 2003. Red carpet. Look. See what I'm talking about? She always rocked hair. Always. Like. So it's just, it's just, oh, I got to show y'all Instagram too. Let me take y'all back Instagram. Look. Look at this. Smack was not necessary because Jada always been rocking hair. So it's not like people would know off top that she had this. You get what I'm saying? She's always throughout her career had hair. Like you would she would have to make that publicly known that she had some type of issue for people to be sympathetic to it. Y'all get what I'm saying now? Whether the hair was real or not, she gave the public perception that she had hair until recently. You get what I'm saying?
See what I'm saying? This is where Will is wrong. Like, everybody didn't know that she had this because she's always been out here with hair. So if she shows up with a shortcut, it, it just looks like a fashion statement that, or a fashion style that she's doing right now. She's always had hair on that. Like, Will Smith is wrong, dog. Look at that. Will, you wrong, bro. You wrong, bro. You wrong, bro. That's why Chris Rock was like, yo, this is a G.I. Jane. Like, what are you tripping about? Like, she, your girl looked like she got it. She shaved the head. She looked like G.I. Jane. Any other time we see her, she got hair until now, more recently. Y'all get what I'm saying now? This is why Will is wrong. When your wife is running around with you your whole career looking like this, and she comes to an event with a short haircut, whether it look, if you said a Grace Jones or whatever short haircut, Sinead O'Connor, it, it wasn't, uh, he wasn't trying to be disrespectful. He was not being disrespectful, dog. Your wife been having hair everywhere. Everywhere, dog. Everywhere. Her whole career. So she showed with a short haircut, brother. God damn, respect the joke. I think I made my point at this point, right? Did I make my point at this? Uh, have I made my point, y'all? So now you show up today with a baldy, and we make a baldy joke, and I get slapped in the face. Okay, brothers, I see you in court. <sighs> They, they used to, it was either you had the Anita Baker or the Jada Pinkett. You was known for the short hairstyle. They was even saying you had the Anita Baker or the Jada Pinkett, the girls. It was it had nothing to do with her having a disease. But shout out to Chris Rock. Because Chris Rock, you a class act, brother. And I know everybody saying you should have got ghetto and hit him back. But think about how worse that would have looked if they, they would have been rumbling on the stage. Oh, it would have looked like the Source Awards for real. It would have looked like the Source Awards for real. So Chris Rock... Kudos to you, brother, for eating that and trying to keep the show going. Like, you get you get major props for that, brother. And a lot of people are going to say you're a punk, this, that, and other. But in the eyes of those people that we work so hard to get on these platforms to achieve this type of success, it ain't no question next year who hosts in the Oscars, Chris uh, Rock. You already got the job, brother. I guarantee you. Everybody will watch the goddamn Oscars next year if you host it. Just so you can get on that goddamn stage and roast they motherfucking ass in your opening monologue. Take the job, brother. Because I already know they already offering it to you. They might make you goddamn an EP just so you don't sue the shit out they ass. Look at Jada with all his hair right here. And this man going, man, y'all need to see this Instagram. Let me show y'all.
slap wasn't necessary. The slap was not necessary. You all, you show up with a bald head, Jada, and they make a joke about a, 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 a bald head actress. You know it wasn't necessary. You know that wasn't necessary, Jada. You was wrong for making uh, Will go up there and throw his career on the line like that. You always been known for what you call it, having him, sister. You wrong, sister, to get act like you was offended by that. It was a good joke. And we are very sympathetic to your condition and every woman or male that have it. But you could have threw your husband's career away for uh, being a little crybaby about a bald head joke that wasn't targeted at your illness. And here's Jada with hair. Now you can't, come on, Jada, you wrong. You wrong, Will wrong, and y'all need to, if, and Will, you didn't even apologize to that man. You didn't even apologize to that man. Look at this. Look at that hair. It's not fair, man. It's not fair. That shit was a a a, a, a joke. A bald, a low haircut joke, bald head joke. It had nothing to do with her illness. She, if she, come on, man. That's bullshit, man. That's bullshit, man. That nigga got caught, lost in that goddamn role, and and thought he was a hard rock, and and was feeling himself and disrespected the great Chris Rock. So Chris Rock. Kudos to you, bro. My go off to you for handling that shit like a G. You know. You handle that like a G, Chris Rock. You know, a lot of people, you're going to get a lot. You're a comedian. So you can take the jokes. But take this. Write some great ass material. And go write you a special and give Will 30 minutes. And give Will 30 minutes and cook his ass, cook his ass, cook him. Not like nobody else could do but you. Cook his ass. But uh, choke no joke, man. Yo, Will, man. For all you accomplish, the big night, and we always rooting for you. Nigga, I posted that you won three days before you even won because I believed in you that much. Go look at my Instagram, Will Smith. I promoted that you won three, four days before you even won because I felt it in my soul you was going to win. And look what you went and did up there, man. That's why you was crying during that speech, because you felt like a fool. That speech that you gave ain't the speech you wanted to give, because you didn't expect the night to go that way. Disappointed in you, brother. And I hope that you will find it in your heart to apologize to Chris Rock on the public scale because he deserves it. It was just a joke, brother. And if you can't take a joke after all the comedies you've been in and you're going to assault a black man on the national 
stage. And this is what I was just talking about a couple of weeks ago. If a race war broke out right now, all we do is turn on each other. If a race war broke out right now and Calabas is where they live, you think that Will Smith, if the niggas is breaking in Will Smith's house right now, and he know Chris Rock got a whole arsenal over there with his family and everything, and they can help him. You think if he called Chris Rock right now, if a race war broke out today, Chris, we need your help. Nigga, you just slapped me on TV. Man, it ain't about that. You a black brother, man. It's a black it's a, it's a race war, man. I got the whole KK Clay out of my house, man. I need you, man. Oh, now you need the black man? Hey, Will, hold this. Pish. We got to start sticking together, y'all. Race war breakout. There go another two black people that ain't going to be rocking with each other. Man, man, man. Life with success, man. That's what it is. Go, 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 come on. Hold on, hold on. No autographs right now. I got something to handle right here. No disrespect. Camera on the drums. Choke, no joke on the mic. Life with success. Uh. That's what it is. <laughs> Let's go. Life with success. Is this what it is? Paparazzi running around flashing your kids. Trying to catch them with a gun or a cig. Hoping that they fall in some type of addiction. Baby mama hitting you with numbers like a dish. Shit. Shit so high. You feel like she pimping. It's alright, bitch. Yeah, I'm tripping. But it's better than the fucking max. <laughs> you can have every time before you see this Jimmy again. If life was a movie, you'd be going in the wind. And this flow ain't conceptualized on chain and time. But how ironic. You file once a nigga went and got it popping. I guess that's why you pushed up when I was Milano hopping. Out in high school, fresh with jewels. Looking successful as I do. I made you a star in the hood, kept you in leathers and bamboo. Fresh footwear, girl, I kept you good. Heavy color to match, your butter sauce. Smooth you the edge cold from the concourse. Left mom house in the bed all. Now you write that shit all off. Like taxes, make me want to move your parts with chainsaw and axes. I need to roll up and get back to relaxing. Uh huh. Is this what it is? Life with success, huh? Is this what it is? Chicks you took care of. Motherfuckers you looked out for. Hey, white turn on you, bad thing, motherfucker, hand out. Is this what it is? Life with success. Sometimes it sucks. Uh -huh. When people want something's when they call up. Yeah. People wanna hang, cause you got a new truck. Let's go. Now you hang with chicks that you dreamed you flop. Haters want you stuck, chick trying to get knocked up. Cake in the oven to eat your cake up. Chick get your own and raise our stakes up. The more you get, yo, the shit get iller. So I might go from the glove one and turn the thriller. So a dealers get extorted by Popo when they needed a filler. And the shit get realer They wanna clap back But sit back and be a gorilla Or be on the manhunt like Larry Davis That's on the real Success have a lot of dudes on painkillers Or puffing that fuzzy like caterpillars It ain't easy to deal with Life with success, huh? <laughs> is this what it is? Life with success <laughs> Is this what it is? <laughs>